Good morning, South Naz. I hope that you're having a great day in the Lord today. And uh, can you believe it? We are in the last week of July 2020. And, uh, and we're still moving into this unknown direction. But are you thankful that God knows exactly everything that is ahead of us? I know for me that gives me some great reassurance that I need every single day. Today I want to share with you about doors. A couple weeks ago, I had the privilege of going to the Ark Encounter in Kentucky, which is a life-size replica of the Ark that Noah built. As I stood back and looked at it, I was just amazed. And if you've never seen it, I would encourage you to sometime go to look at this thing. And as I was looking at it, I, I thought to myself, how would I feel if God told me to build something so large during a time that had not seen rain because God said a flood was coming. As I was walking through the ark, I then came to the ark's doors. And if you can just imagine with me these doors. These are big, ginormous doors that God shut once Noah and his family and all the animals were on board. Looking at the door was amazing to me. It was just just looking at this thing just, just awestruck me because it was not just an ordinary door. It was big. And as I stood next to it, I realized even more how massive it was. You see, I imagined the door open and God saying, everyone is on. And then he shut it. Thinking about this, I thought about doors that we have in our lives. Through this time that we are going through, I believe that it is a door that God has placed in front of us to choose how we will respond. Will we, will we be willing to do whatever for him and follow him, or will we choose to go through another door? I want to read with you from Revelation 3.20, and this is what it says. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. This scripture is referring to our spiritual door, but I believe that it is much more than that. You see, Jesus is knocking on the door of our hearts. Jesus wants to have fellowship with us and wants us to open up to him. He is patient. He is persistent in trying to get through us, not breaking and entering, but knocking on our doors. He allows us to decide whether or not we will open our lives to him and allow him to walk through our heart's doors and become our savior. Some of us opened up our heart's door to Jesus a long time ago, but we still have choices to make every day on how we respond to things. You see, it's easy to be negative and allow our attitudes to go through a negative door. Or we can choose the positive door that says, thank you, God, for giving me another day to live for you and to be a witness to those around me. You see, I know that this is difficult for me, and, and I pray that God helps me every single day to choose the right door that glorifies him. You see, we are in this series that we've been going through with Pastor Brad on prayer. So what does your prayer life look like? Are you praying and asking God to knock on your door of compassion, understanding, patient, peace, or are you closing that door as soon as you hear a knock? You see, God is standing at the door knocking on each and every one of our hearts. He is here for us and wants us to open the door, invite him in. Have you done that? Or do you intentionally keep life's changing presence and power on the other side of the door because of stubbornness or lack of faith or selfishness? You see, I want to remind us to all of us that God allows us to choose which doors we are going to open to him. But he is knocking on each one of our doors and wants us to open the door to him so he can help us get through these, especially in these uncertain times. You see, as I thought of these doors and as I looked at that door that day, it really reminded me of these little simple things that we go through. And I want to encourage you today to think about doors in your lives and which one are you going to walk through? And uh, as we go through this time, I just pray that we would continue to be in prayer and ask God what he wants of us. I want to pray with you guys this morning as we uh, finish up today. Jesus, I thank you so much for allowing us to come together. 
Lord, everything we are going through is uncertain times. We don't know what's going on from day to day, Lord, but we know that you are in charge. You know the plans, the future, and everything that's going for us, Lord. I pray that you would just help us to rely on you. And Lord, when the door comes and when you start knocking our door, Lord, maybe be open to what you have for us. Thank you for giving us another day, Lord, just to breathe the air that you have for us. And uh, we give you all the glory in your wonderful name. Amen.